Now we're going to take a uh, very quick look at a uh, form of loose connective tissue. It's loose connective tissue as it's found in a structure called a mesentery, which is a membrane that's found lining the internal surface of the abdominal cavity and indeed uh, covering the surface of many of the uh, abdominal organs. In fact, the loose connective tissue of the mesentery is the classic description of what loose connective tissue should look like. But before we proceed to the slide, uh, I'd like to show you a quick cartoon diagram as to how the mesentery is structured. The mesentery is actually structured much like a sandwich. The bread in the sandwich, the outer layers shown here and here, are a layer of simple squamous so-called mesothelial cells. It's just a special name for epithelial cells of the mesentery. So here's a squamous mesothelial cell, squamous mesothelial cell, squamous mesothelial cell, forming the bread on one side. And on this edge here, I've cut through the mesentery and cross-section so you can see the squamous mesothelial cells on the other side, the other slice of bread in the sandwich. The meat in the sandwich, in mesentery, is in fact loose connective tissue. And as we'll see when we look at the slide, uh, much of what we can see in that loose connective tissue uh, comprises uh, collagen fibers and fibrils, which appear as very faintly stained pink uh, wavy material. Uh, very much uh, more visible, much easier to see sharp, darkly stained, uh, straight and branched elastic fibres, which I've shown here by this uh, dark purple line. And then, as we'll see perhaps on a later slide, and maybe on the first one we're going to look at, the mesentery is very vascular and it contains very many small blood vessels, through which occasionally we'll see stacks of uh, red blood cells move. The important thing that you understand uh, when we look at this first slide we're going to look at is that we're not actually looking at a section through the mesentery as I'm showing in this region here, but in fact we're looking down on the mesentery from above because this is a so-called mesentery squash and so what's happened is a piece of mesentery has been taken and pressed down onto the surface of a slide and covered with a cover slip. So we're going to look down onto the mesentery so we're looking through the layer of mesothelial cells to see the core of loose connective tissue which can be seen. The mesentery slide which I would like you to look at is not a mesentery slide in the NYU virtual microscope but rather one which is in the University of Iowa virtual microscope. And you'll get to this one by going to the index of the University of Iowa virtual microscope, uh, choose supporting tissue and muscle and the first slide there is described as areolar connective tissue and areolar connective tissue is another word for loose connective tissue and in this case we're looking at a piece of uh, mesentery. So here's the mesentery squash now that's been pressed down onto the surface of the slide. We're looking at pretty low magnification. We're going to go up in magnification to about 5x. And here what we can see is there appear to be all different types and diameters of fibres that course in and across the tissue. The very much sharper dark stained ones which you can see are uh, elastic fibres and the much paler pink wavy material much more difficult to see are collagen fibres coursing through. We can also see lots of dark stained nuclei here. Many of these are the nuclei of fibroblasts responsible for secreting the connective tissue. We can see larger paler stained nuclei as we can see here and here and these are in fact many of them will appear out of focus and that's because these are mesothelial cell nuclei which are either above or slightly below the uh, plate of focus. And finally there are other cell types other than fibroblasts and mesothelial cells present. Some of these have fairly distinctly dark red staining uh, cytoplasm these are immune system cells. It is possible to identify them definitively, but I don't expect you to be able to do that, so I won't bother with it just now. I'm going up in magnification a little bit more, and here again you can see the pale pink wavy material which you see in the background, and some of it is out of focus here, are collagen fibres. Here we see mesothelial nucleus, mesothelial nucleus, mesothelial nucleus, mesothelial nucleus, etc. The uh, thin, often branched, much straighter, very sharp looking fibres are elastic uh, fibres. And the nuclei which are spindle shaped and very dark staining and form the bulk of the nuclei you can see here, these are the nuclei of um, fibroblasts. And finally at the maximum magnification on this we can see elastic 
fibers, the sharp branched ones. We can see thinner, uh, less uh, apparent, but uh, wavier uh, collagen fibers. We can see fibroblast nuclei, which you can see uh, around the place here. We can see mesothelial cell nuclei out of the plane of focus, out of the plane of focus. Here's one that's sort of in the plane of focus. And we can also see, here's a mesothelial cell nucleus, mesothelial cell nucleus, fibroblast, fibroblast, fibroblast. And here we see uh, a cell, an immune system cell. Here's another related uh, immune system cell. Which these are motile cells traveling around in the background of the uh, connective tissue. Now very briefly we'll take a quick look at an equivalent slide from the NYU virtual microscope. Uh, to reach this slide you need to type the search term mesentery, M-E-S-E-N-T-E-R-Y into the search box and choose the third slide from the list of slides which then appears. This is it at low magnification. This again is a squash of mesentery. Uh, we'll increase the magnification somewhat and we'll move across uh, to take a look here. Now particularly where we want to look are just out around the margins here where the squash is uh, at its uh, thinnest. And again this one uh, is very very good for seeing uh, blood vessels, not so good for looking at collagen fibers and elastic fibers and cell types in the background. So as I move around here, looking this region here, here we see a very nice arcade or interconnected uh, sequence of uh, capillaries. If we go up to the maximum magnification, we can see here, here's an individual capillary in longitudinal section. Here are the red blood cells which are traveling in that capillary. We can see it loops back in itself, these interconnect. And in the background we can see uh, these are in fact um, look like adipose cells and that is what they are because mesentery contains some fat. Uh, because of the nature of this particular uh, spread and the way in which it was stained, it's not as easy to see uh, collagen fibers and elastic fibers. Uh, many of the pale staining nuclei which you see outside the plane of focus are of mesothelial cells and many of the other dark staining spindle shaped nuclei which you can see are those of fibroblasts. So between the previous slide and this one, this should give you a good appreciation for the generalized, idealized structure of loose connective tissue with its attendant collagen fibers, elastic fibers, fibroblasts, immune cells and blood vessels.